Hi, I'm Mark from Northeast Power Systems, and I'm going to show you uh, how to set up a Lovato Power Factor Controller. Uh, you may find one of these in uh, your Nepsi filter bank, capacitor bank, and uh, we'll show you how to get in and make some changes. So, initially, uh, if, if the controller is uh, operational and your bank is up and running, this is the display you might see, and it will show you the current power factor, whether it's capacitive or inductive. It will show you the delta K bar, which is the amount of VARs required to get to your target power factor. So if your target power factor is unity, for instance, then this would be the uh, VARs on your bus. Uh, over on the right, it shows you the number of steps that are programmed into the meter, which would reflect what you have installed on your equipment. And it'll give the status of each step. So this is an automatic mode. This is how it would be running. Uh, if you need to make any changes, edit any of the parameters, first thing we need to do is put it in manual mode. And to do that, you will see there's a manual button. You press that and hold it. And now you see the delta K bar has changed to MAN, indicating you're in manual mode. Now you're uh, in, a, in a state where you can uh, get in and edit some of these parameters. So to do that, we press and hold the mode button, and it might take three or four seconds. And you'll see it says set, which means you're in editing mode. The first group it comes up as BAS, meaning basic settings. And right now you're, you're set up to alter those uh, parameters in the basic group. So included with your equipment, you should have received a settings sheet that reflects what the Lovato is currently programmed, how it's pr currently programmed. And that'll look like this. Uh, and the first group, of course, is going to be basic settings. This is the basic menu. And line by line, it describes what each parameter is and what it does. So what we'll do here is we'll show you uh, how, to, how to make changes here. Right now, you're in set mode. You're looking at basic settings. Oh, see, so it just waited too long. It popped out. So I'm going to go back in. Put it in there and hold with mode. Basic settings, okay. So now we'll move along here. Uh, first parameter, you would hit auto to advance to the first parameter. P01, which is P01 on your settings sheet. And it says CT primary. So that's your primary uh, current set current rating of your CT, which is located on your, on your bus that you're trying to correct. Uh, and right now it's set for 1.20 KA, which is 1,000 amps. It's 1,200 1, amps is the primary setting. If you hit auto again, it goes to P02, gives you the secondary value and it's uh, five, so it's 1200 to 5 is the CT ratio we have set. If you wanted to change that, you would use the arrow keys. You could have 1200, 12,000, 1200 to 1, 1200 to 5. Okay, next uh, parameter. Uh, this is the, the phase that the CT is located on. So L3 or C phase is how it's set. And that should reflect where it is actually installed. You can change that with the arrow keys, L2, L1. Typically we install it on C phase or L3. Next parameter is uh, polarity setting. Uh, if you want the Lovato to detect the uh, polarity automatically, this is the setting you use. Uh, or you can say it's connected directly 
or you can invert it. Those are the options. Next parameter is your, your voltage reference, uh, in this case L1 and L2. Uh, so your, your CT is on C phase and your voltage is going to be read from A and B phase. And again, you can change that with the arrow keys. And just as a, as a side note, you may have to make these, make changes here if you're the power factor that you see on the meter is, is not correct or it doesn't look right. We can get into that later, but this is where you would make changes. Next step is P06, the smallest step power. So this is where you define uh, the, the step sizes and what you do is put the smallest step size in here usually your first step if you have a multi-step bank. And you, so you, you put the, the value of that step in here and that's, that's where it's defined. P07 is your system voltage. In this case we have 4160 volts. You could raise that or lower it with the arrow keys. This is your frequency, 60 hertz. Uh, B09 is your reclose timer, and that says that uh, in order to, once a step opens up, in order to reclose it, it, this meter will wait five minutes, 300 seconds. And the, the purpose of that is to allow uh, capacitors to discharge between switching. Next value, uh, P10 is a sensitivity. That's sort of like uh, the response time uh, between uh, a requirement detected and the, and the time that it actually switches in. And this is something we have decided works best, but it is changeable. Go to the next. P11 is this is a step called a step function, is what, and what you're saying is that uh, the value of the first step is, is going to be given a value of 1, which is that 500 that we put in back on. Uh, P06. So on P06 we had 500 kVar. So this is saying step 1 has got a value of 500 kVar. P12 says step two, which is uh, which would be the next step, has got a value of two. So you multiply 500 times two. Step two is, is 1,000 kVar. Step three, same, 1,000 kVar. So it's two times uh, the value of step one. Step four, again, 1,000 kVar. Step five, the same. And in this case, we don't have a step six, seven, or eight. Uh, actually, step eight is telling you the, the relay output is going to operate normally open, uh, as opposed to fail safe. Uh, we will pick up a relay uh, output when it's uh, required, rather than open the relay. That's parameter 18. Uh, 19 is your target value for your, your cosine. Uh, typically we put 0.99 capacitive just because uh, it seems to work better in terms of utilizing uh, your available steps. Uh, you can change that to unity, inductive, you can go 0.99 or the other way. Capacitive. Most often we're, we'll set it for 0.99 capacitive. Next step is the, the language you, you are going to use. In this case, we're using English. And you hit it one more time, you're back to basic. Now, 
We've made changes in here, but we haven't saved them. So this is real important. Once you get all the way back to basic, you have to use the up arrow key and advance so you get to save. And once you hit save, once you get to save, you hit auto and it's going to reboot the controller and save those settings for you. And now you're back to manual. Uh, if you want to put the uh, meter back in auto mode, you simply uh, at this point hit the auto and you're back to auto mode. That's it, All right? That's it for the basic settings.